My name is Rita Fenton. I'm a Fort Wayne First Nation member, and I'm uh, one of the keepers of the, uh, the sacred items and the bundles. Would you like to discuss the Anishinaabe philosophy of life and the honoring of women in traditional ceremony? To me, the Anishinaabe uh, philosophy of life is to walk a good path, to have respect for other people, to respect all things, um, the trees, the, the ground we walk on, Mother Earth, you know, everything has a spirit, so everything to me is about respect, honoring everything, because every, like I said, everything has a spirit. And how is the honoring of women in traditional ceremony, how is it powerful? Uh, the honoring of women in the traditional uh, ceremonies, it's powerful to me because women have always been the backbone of the communities, even like way back when, when um, they would look to women for, for answers to uh, problems or things that were happening in the community, they would go to the women. The women are just natural uh, born caregivers, we're caretakers, you know, we, we give birth to, to the children and, and so we are powerful and some of us don't even know that. In, uh, in ceremonies, that's um, uh, our role is to maintain balance and to help the families to um, to be safe and to be secure and to lead a good life. So as keeper of the bundle, I'd just like to ask you how it felt for you to have the bundle at your house since it arrived in Thunder Bay. As keeper of the bundle, the sacred bundle, to have it in my home, first of all to be asked if I would be a keeper. That was an honor to me because, um, to me, that signified to me that I was capable of and respectful to be able to look after such a sacred event to commemorate the murdered and missing women through the looking after the vamps and the sacred items, the sacred bundles and the eagle staffs, you know, and to have them in my home, that was, uh, to me, that was quite, uh, that was quite an emotional experience for me. And could you describe your experience with the opening ceremony and what you saw take place and how you felt about it? Mm -hmm. Uh, <clears throat> the opening ceremony was very, uh, it was very touching, it was very emotional. The, to see all the women gathered smoking the pipes, to see all the elders come together and the keepers in this sacred ceremony, to commemorate the, and honor what we were here for, to honor and respect and to uh, bring attention and awareness to this very um, uh, to bring awareness to this very um, it's it's a it's a thing that you know um, that is very touchy and to bring awareness to it and through the opening up through the opening ceremony it was like uh, it was pretty emotional for me to see all the all the women gathering and uh, paying respects, paying their respects to to this very sacred uh, event. Is there anything else you'd like to share before we wrap up? Yeah, um, I would like to share that um, I knew very very little. I wasn't very involved in it uh, throughout. The time it was, you know, out, out in the uh, media and stuff. However, um, when it came kind of into uh, being asked to be the keeper, for me it was like uh, 
to be look, looking after the vamps in my home and the sacred items. It was truly an honor and I did it from my heart. You know, I was asked to um, um, to uh, be like a, to have a kind heart and, and be respectful at all mm -hmm. times. And that process that for almost two months that I looked after the, the vamps, uh, it kind of, for me, it was like I was remembering the spirits of the women and the children that didn't return from residential school. I was remembering those, um, the spirits of, of, of those, mm -hmm. of, of the women and the children. And to me, that was every day when I, I smudged and I prayed over them. It started out with the, the smudging and the prayer. It grounded me and it kept me walking that that path of respect, honesty, truth, and being humble. It really humbled me mm -hmm. to uh, to um, to be part of this. I was very very honored. All right. Thank you. Thank you.